the clerks who'd spent a similar sum had been in China for three weeks when I joined them. It was clear that they were already impressed by the apparent impact on their daughter's eyesight. I mean, the big question is, how is Dakota? Fair and well, fair and well. She's uh, shown an improvement. Are you seeing improvements like by the day? With each treatment, you're seeing improvements? Literally by the day, things are getting better. It's amazing, it is absolutely amazing. Well, are you talking like almost like a miracle? I mean, how, how do you? It's the next thing to a miracle. The Baker Biotech Clinic sits on the top floors of a big city hospital. You quickly get a sense this place is a sort of refuge for people across the world who dream of cures. Cures the West says are impossible and may never happen. Dakota has already received four injections of stem cells. She's now on her fifth dose. It seems a, a truly fantastic piece of medicine. Baker's magic mix, an intravenous strip of millions of human stem cells, will help restore nerve endings around Cody's eye and help give her some sight. Research on animals has shown that to damage tissue and either restore or replace it. But Dakota was born with her sight disorder and experts question how the stem cells know what to mend. Dr. Stephen Minger is one of Britain's leading stem cell scientists. We showed him the footage from China. This is a developmental disorder that lacks any kind of injury response. The cells aren't going to see it. There's just no signal there for them to say, oh, wait a second, here's an optic nerve that's not formed very well. Let's go there. And my argument would be, do they have any evidence at all that the cells even see the optic nerve? And particularly the numbers of cells they're injecting. Put 10 million cells into the vasculature. You, know, you have to remember you have billions of cells floating around your blood. I don't see how 10 million cells is going to make that much of a difference. Baker Biotech, like Medra, uses the internet to promote its success stories. But it doesn't promote the results of tests carried out by doctors like Larry Tyson. This specialist has seen scores of patients with SOD, like this American child. He has also examined two patients before and after visiting Baker, and his colleagues have tested others. None of us have seen evidence of visual improvement, of any quantitative visual improvement of any kind. Has the child's vision improved, even temporarily? No. We have no evidence that the child's vision has even improved temporarily. But there's a very interesting dynamic. That old saying that children can feel their parents' expectations in the next room. The experts will say with the greatest kindness that you guys are seeing things. My daughter's seeing things. For the first time, my daughter's seeing things. Um, I, I, I've come to the opinion that I don't care what anybody has to say about it. Oh, it's in your mind. No, it's not. Dr. Tyson found that when his former Baker patients returned home, the parents didn't ask him if the test showed that their child had actually improved. You can understand from the standpoint of the parent, they've invested a tremendous amount of time and money in this. They typically have recruited uh, the entire community to help support them. The expectations are high, and I'm not sure that they want to know that you think that they've wasted their time and money. Back in the Dominican Republic, Linda has begun her secret filming. It's treatment day. Unlike Baker, where patients get multiple treatments, here there's just one session with top-ups costing £8,000. Linda's first question was whether she would benefit from treatment. Number one, we see with all our MS patients that they do get better. We actually see on MRIs the plaques disappearing at times. So that means there's a remyelinization going on. So yes, I would expect you to be better. We have patients who are walking, who are in wheelchairs. Right. But I can't say on an individual patient. Multiple sclerosis is caused by the myelin around the nerve cells, like the plastic around a copper wire, 
disintegrating. Without myelin, signals cannot pass through the nerve cells, so the brain stops talking to the muscles. Dr. Rader claims that his stem cells, which he gets from aborted fetuses, help repair the myelin, allowing the nerves to function normally. Professor Neil Scolding is an authority on MS and stem cells. We showed him Dr. Rader's claims. What I would love to see would be proof that the treatment that he has given has been responsible for those lesions disappearing. Um, and frankly, I would be surprised if there was such proof. Are you aware of any proof in the world? No. Linda's next question was about the safety of using fetal stem cells. I have treated over 1,500 patients. A number have come back. They come back because they're doing well they're usually and they want to speed up the process. Right. So over 2,000, let's say, treatments, no negative side effects. Scientists were alarmed recently when it was reported that an Israeli boy developed tumours after receiving fetal stem cells. The boy, who suffers from a rare genetic condition, had attended a Moscow clinic. Four years after the injections, two tumours were found, one in his brain. Tests showed that they had originated from the injected stem cells. But Dr. Rader said that this case wasn't relevant. He didn't have fetal stem cells. Oh. Yes. No, I'm the only one in the world basically doing this. It's a completely different situation. And in the paper that you read, those tumours were benign. Right. They were not cancerous. Dr. Rader was wrong. The medical paper states the boy received fetal cells. And for Stephen Minger, this case is still a warning shot. If you'd asked me what are the chances of, of neural stem cells being transplanted into somebody and then tumoring, I'd say the chances are really low that they would tumor. And yet here we have one of the few patients who's actually been transplanted with these cells showing exactly that. After insisting that she should be given time to think, Linda was driven back to her hotel. This guy is so convinced that a shot in the arm or a shot wherever is, is going to cure my MS. And, and I know from my own sort of background research and talking to my own neurologist that it's just not as simple as shooting fetal stem, stem cells or, or any sort of stem cells into the body. It's not, not a proven science. This guy plays on uh, the vulnerability of people that are disabled and who have got money and are prepared to travel and, and they come for the, the, the magic cure and it doesn't exist, it just doesn't exist.